Hey guys, I know this video is a long time coming, but a lot of you have asked for me to do a diet and exercise kind of fitness health related video and I've been hesitant to put one out there because I really don't have a set routine or anything that I do. I don't in fact go to the gym or anything like that right now, which I know is bad, but I uh, am quite quite active at my job. I've always been relatively active and for me to lose weight like initially like I was I don't even know how much I weighed before I was quite a bit heavier than I am now I think at my heaviest I was a good 20 or 30 pounds more than I weigh now and then I lost that um, after university a backstory on just kind of how I lost weight and when I lost weight and all that stuff I went to university, I did a four year program, and I know a lot of people in university, you get that freshman 15, well, I definitely got that 15, and uh, probably was more like 20 as I said, and it's pretty much attributed to uh, being inactive, I was like just sitting on my butt all day long, uh, studying, so I, it's not like I wanted to be inactive, it was like, I was always constantly in class or doing schoolwork, and then when I wasn't, this is where it gets bad, I was out at the bars with my friends. So in Canada, when you're uh, 19, you're of legal drinking age, so I was out at the bar every weekend, probably like Friday, Saturday, sometimes I was out during the week as well. A combination of being inactive, alcohol is absolutely terrible. Um, for me, I can tell as soon as I am drinking, like if you cut alcohol out of your diet, you're going to lose so much weight in general. Um, for me personally, that helped a lot. And then, um, what else? And just being more active. So after I was done school, I started uh, working. Not right away, but once I started working full-time job, I also got Bella uh, after university as well, which is my dog. and just running around with her, starting a job, um, moving out, having my own house, taking care of that. Uh, basically the weight just came off naturally. And then I wanted to lose a bit more weight after that, probably 10 pounds came off. It hadn't changed my diet at this point and then I changed my diet. And that was the biggest thing that I did for me to help me lose weight. I did lose some weight uh, doing uh, a bit of P90X. I started doing that but stopped. It's really demanding but it does work. So if you do want to lose weight, do P90X or Insanity. I recommend those to you because you're going to lose weight fast. And just the idea behind it, always mixing up your workout is really what helps you burn fat and lose weight because you don't want your body to become adjusted to what you do. like. Um, now I'm kind of plateaued because my body has adjusted to my job. I walk a ton of kilometers a day. I think we, um, I don't know, we counted it one day, it was like 21 kilometers at least a day of just walking. And because I walk so much, it's like as long as I eat relatively good and I'm also like lifting stuff and doing that at work because it's a manual labor job then I'm pretty much able to stay in shape. So my only advice to you guys is diet, change it, exercise. You gotta be more active than what you're consuming. And that is just uh, the number one thing you can say. It's pretty much common sense I would think that you need to uh, burn more than you are consuming but uh, that's what you need to do and you can't make excuses or be lazy about it or be like I'm gonna start on Monday or I'm gonna start the first of the month just start today just you know like just stop watching this video and go and exercise that's my only little bit of advice uh, I would like to lose uh, maybe five or ten more pounds I think maybe just five would be good uh, there's a few areas that I would like to work on personally that I need to target. I've always had a problem with my arms, but ever since working, I've kind of lost that uh, jiggle 
underneath and you know what I'm talking about when you wag your arm and you get that waving back at you <laughs> that's a problem that I had and changing my diet completely um, started taking my weight off from the top to bottom and I noticed that it took away from like my chest a lot like I went down I was at like a 36 double D and then I went to a 34 C and it's a large 34 C but I lost a lot of chest and um, they look a lot better now that I lost weight and I know some people if you lose a lot of weight your chest can look uh, be affected and not look as nice or whatnot but mine look a lot better I think it can be attributed to like um, like chest presses and uh, just motions like that that I do all the time just pushing that has strengthened my chest area and just made everything uh, stay nice when I lost weight. The weight still has not come completely off my lower end so that's what I would like to target now with exercise which I need to start but my uh, upper thighs are my main problem. I have little hams for the legs so and my lower legs and my ankles they're just like chicken legs so it's really weird um, my body shape to see like a uh, thinner leg and then like hams on my thighs but it's not necessarily a bad thing um, they're pretty strong and they are quite muscular so there's only a little bit that I could lose on like my inner thigh area but they're never gonna be like completely the way I would want um, as thin as I would want because it's just not my body type so you need to have realistic expectations on what your body can look like and what it won't ever look like I'm never gonna be completely like a stick thin figure like I have huge well not huge I have big hips and my body is not gonna become any less wide as it is be realistic about what your body can look like. Um, there's different kinds of body shapes. You're never going to be like a certain shape if you're shaped a certain way. And you just need to work with what you got and target the areas you think you need to target. For diet, the biggest thing for me was just cutting back portion sizes and I started to eat salads. Like, I never used to eat salads as much as I do now. I would say that I eat a salad pretty much every day for lunch. I won't cut anything out. I know there was like a point in time I was just like, I can't have carbs, I can't have this, and then it drove me crazy. And then all I did was want to just sit down and consume like all the pasta and everything I wanted. So, everything in moderation to a certain degree, I would say have it else you're gonna drive yourself insane saying you can't have something I know that's what I went through so just I don't know if you you want like a piece of pizza or something like that have it just don't eat the whole box so you can satisfy your craving with healthy foods um, just don't buy those bad foods and keep it in the house because I know if I go out and I buy like ice cream or something like that it's going to take me like the week and I'm going to be done that tub of ice cream because I'm just going to have it every day until it's done so just don't buy the foods that you know are going to like <laughs> hurt you in the end I am not a vegetarian I do eat meat I don't eat red meat that often I have completely substituted like ground beef anything like that for ground turkey or ground chicken um, I eat chicken or fish on a regular for dinners and then um, rarely but I still do I'll eat steak I probably don't eat pork red meat you can basically substitute with either chicken or turkey so that's what I do and that I think helped it a lot because it's a lot leaner drink lots of water water will keep you full uh, one of my vices which helped me like my metabolism speed up but is bad for you is uh, drinking black coffee so I know coffee is not that great for your body or whatever but I love coffee I couldn't survive with that in the morning I am addicted I start getting headaches if I don't have my coffee it's bad I know but I have like a large Timmy's 
every single day pretty much just black coffee and black coffee is not bad for you it doesn't have the sugar or cream or anything you put in it so it's basically like water but the caffeine will just give you a little bit of pep in the morning I'd say I'm not depriving myself at all if I want it I'm gonna have it or else I'm gonna think about it and like just go crazy like that's just how I work so maybe some people can completely give up those things I just could never do that so everything in moderation just don't eat it every single day um, maybe have a cheat day a week where you can eat whatever you want um, but even then don't like go like crazy eating stuff <laughs> Just have like a little bit of what you're craving and that usually satisfies it. Finally, what you need to remember is that it's going to take a while for the weight to come off. Unless you're like extremely overweight, like you're going to find that weight comes off really fast at first, but then you're going to hit a plateau. And that's when a lot of people give up is when they hit that plateau. And that's when you need to just push yourself even more because you can't just stop after you've lost that much weight and it's going to come back. You're going to yo-yo, you're going to fluctuate. It's just you need to keep a healthy lifestyle. Keep in mind that you just need to constantly do this every day. If you do slip up, don't beat yourself up over it and go into like a binge for the week. Just be like, oh, I had this today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to eat uh, this and this and just... Um, really make myself healthy tomorrow. I'm not really saying anything that you guys probably haven't heard before. It's just what has worked for me. It's just pretty much common sense, I would say, uh, that has helped me in general. Just you got to burn more than you're putting into your mouth. So and you might think that like eating a salad or something like that isn't going to like fulfill you, but you really do feel better after starting a regimen of just eating healthier like I can tell after eating like say I went out and had like a burger and fries I would probably feel sick and yes it would taste good to me at first but I would get like sick if I've just been eating like crazy like healthy so your body is going to adapt to the new fuel you're putting in your body the better food that you are giving it and you're gonna just feel a whole lot better. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful in um, like specific like exercises or anything you could do. As I said, um, P90X and Sanity, those are really great options if you really wanna stick to like a regimen and just like give her that stuff is gonna it's really gonna work if you combine that with a good diet. And if you're like me and you can be as active as you want. Um, but the weight doesn't come off, uh, you need to switch up your diet and um, do it gradually as well. Like it's exercise, you don't have to do it all at once. Don't think of it as just a temporary thing. You need to stick with it all the time. Just make it a lifestyle change and the weight will come off. It came off for me um, and I didn't even really do anything too drastic to make it come off. I just made some simple life changes as in terms of my diet and just being a bit more active and that's all I needed to do for it to come off. Some people might take more, some people might take less, some people it's like genetically they can be thin but that is definitely not the case for me. I have to work hard at keeping a um, thin figure. It does not come naturally to me and I do have days where I slip up like this whole past weekend but I'm gonna be back on track on Monday so good luck with your healthy lifestyle. That's what it is. It's a healthy lifestyle. It, you can't just think of it as a temporary thing. Uh, make small changes and weight will start coming off. I guarantee you. You just gotta keep at it. And that's what happened for me. I even made just small changes, alterations in my life and it just came off and obviously to get the last little bit to really be toned I do have to start exercising again and I would like to do that in the future so if anyone wants a workout buddy they should let me know and maybe we could start like P90X or Insanity together so just let me know below if you want to be my workout buddy because I do need to start like hitting the gym or doing some workouts uh, just to get ready for the summer and just to tone everything up. I'm going to be putting now some before and after photos of myself throughout the years so that you can see the 
weight loss progression for me because it was very gradual. It did take a couple years for it to all come off, but I think it's really important to see that kind of visual that it does take a while for the weight to come off if you're doing it gradually and healthy. You don't want to yo-yo, you want to keep it off. Also, I have pretty much the same story I'm telling you on my blog all written out. Uh, it has pictures and stuff. I might have left something out. I think I have specifics of things that I eat. I also have like an example of like a daily meal plan that I would have on my blog. I will link you that post of my weight loss story uh, in the info bar if you care to read that. It's pretty much exactly what I'm telling you now because nothing has really changed but I just wanted that to be a reference to you guys if you do care to uh, read my story in writing and then I hope you enjoy these photos. Some of them are kind of embarrassing but uh, if it's gonna help you guys out then uh, who cares.